Tonight, we have learned that counterfeit tourniquets are finding their way into the emergency gear of firefighters and police. The fakes break easily, which could leave an accident victim bleeding to death. Jeff Pegues found a bulletin for law enforcement. This bulletin went out to New Hampshire first responders after paramedics experienced a catastrophic failure with two counterfeit tourniquets at the scene of a motorcycle accident. Sources say a rod like this snapped in half as the paramedics tried to stem a hemorrhage on a victim with a leg injury. That made it impossible to tighten the tourniquet, a failure that could prove fatal. The counterfeits were knockoffs of the Combat Application Tourniquet, or CAT. CATs are made by a company called North American Rescue. It says it has sold nearly 13 million tourniquets to the military and first responders over the last decade. During the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, tourniquets proved so life-saving that the U.S. military tried to give one to every soldier on the battlefield. In late September, the Obama administration will roll out an initiative to put tourniquets in public places, office buildings, and schools. But with fake tourniquets, some possibly made in China, being sold online for a third of the actual price, manufacturers fear the knockoffs will end up in the public's hands. Ross Johnson is a former Special Forces officer and CEO of tourniquet distributor Tactical Medical Solutions. The concern for us is that uneducated buyers, whether they be a contracting officer for a municipal government or just an individual citizen, is going to think they're doing the right thing and supporting the White House initiatives, but inadvertently putting out a product that's unsafe. He says the counterfeits look remarkably similar to the real thing, and that is part of the danger here. Scott, we wanted to know how the counterfeit tourniquets got into the hands of New Hampshire paramedics, but we have not received an answer to that question. Jeff Pegues breaking the story for us tonight. Jeff, thank you.